Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True, and uh, today I'm going to show you a Halloween graph uh, that I think was kind of fun. So I want to show you how we went about making it, and it explains a lot of different techniques that you can use in your charts uh, in Excel. So uh, what I've done here is I've created a spider web, uh, and I have a spider and a fly, and whenever I uh, you can see the fly there. Whenever I go and calculate the chart, so if I hit F9 or press the Calculate Now button, you'll see that the uh, spider and the fly move around the web into different positions and the spider's trying to catch the fly. So, uh, And ultimately, when the spider gets very close to the fly, it does the splat kind of thing. So my little Halloween chart graph trick here, let me show you how we go about making that. So uh, what we've done is uh, first we want to set up our data. Um, and what this chart is going to do, or let me go back to the chart. Um, what this really is, this chart right here, is it is a radar chart uh, with markers. And uh, I've hidden the lines. I've replaced the markers uh, for the fly and the spider um, with custom markers. And um, I have some other formulas that show an alternate series of the splat uh, that you saw a second ago. Um, so let me show you how we go about doing that. So, um, first thing what we want to do is we want to set up our data. So as you can see here, uh, I'm going to create a uh, radar chart and I'm going to set um, where our fly is and where our spider is. And I'm just using a rand between function. So I've got rand between 1 and 15 uh, so that when we calculate the sheet you will see that they change uh, their different distance there. Um, and it says which web line is it on and what's the distance from the center of that radar chart or the center of the web. Uh, now when the um, spiders rand between function and the flies rand between function are very close, um, I have another formula here that says is the fly caught. What I'm doing here is I have the absolute value of C2 which is right here minus uh, C3 and if that's less than 2 and the absolute value of D2 to D3, uh, the subtracting of those, is close to 2 or less than 2 as well. The spider and the fly are very close. And what we uh, are going to do is we're going to set this equal to true. So it's, it looks at this statement. And if it's true, it puts in true. If I calculate now, and you see they're a little farther away, uh, more than 2. Um, in some instances, it's set to false. Uh, whenever this formula here is true, it will uh, turn on the splat um, series for our radar chart. So uh, you can download this chart at my web blog um, and test it out for yourself. So uh, also the blog post on Excel dashboard templates.com uh, has all of these formulas laid out so that you can type them in and exactly how I did it and make the chart yourself. So uh, many ways to recreate this. Uh, so what I've also got here is um, I set up a web series that we're not going to put into the chart. These are really for reference points to find out with the fly and the spider what um, are their references. Uh, and then I created a, this is going to create the radar chart at a size of 15. So it's got 15 different spines. Um, and uh, so you will see it create this, uh, well I should say it's got 15, there's 15 data points here so it creates 15 spines. And each one of these on the line are at 15 as well. So they're 15 out on 15 spines. And you'll see that when we create the chart in a minute. This series here is for the fly, and this series is for the spider, and this one data point here is for the splat symbol. Um, so the fly series, let's take a look at that. I've got if, and then an and. I want to say if C2, which is um, the uh, C2 is the web distance for the fly is equal to A8, which is over here, this web number. Um, and the fly is not caught, so C5 is equal to false. Then let's go ahead and put in what's in D2, which is the distance of the web. Uh, if not, it's going to put in an NA. There, uh, check out my blog and you can find out more about how the NA function works in charts. Uh, to hide data points or data series. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the spider. We're going to look and see if the um, spider's uh, C3, 
is equal to uh, A8, and if so, put in D3, which is the distance out on that spine, um, else put in the not applicable. Uh, and then finally for the splat, we have if C5 is equal to true, then let's just uh, put that at zero, and we'll have the splat go right there in the center of the chart of the radar, uh, else we're going to put in a not applicable. Um, so you can see as I calculate now, you can see that the uh, data point is moving all around for the fly, fly and the spider. And then once it becomes true, they both go to all non-applicables, and the splat is now zero. So let's show you how to build that chart. What we want to do is we want to highlight from web size and splat all the way down uh, to so B7 to E22. Then we want to go up to our insert ribbon. We want to choose other charts. And then at the bottom of other charts, there is a radar chart that says radar with markers. So uh, let's select that chart and uh, bring this over a little closer to our data points. Your chart's going to look something similar to this. Now you'll notice with radar charts, if you just drag and make it a little bit bigger, notice it's added in almost every line in there. The bigger your radar chart gets, it uh, shows more of these sections for your axis points. All right, so I expanded it out just a little bit there to make uh, make sure you can see uh, more webby-like. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and clean up some of our chart junk. This line right here at 15 was uh, the web size uh, series, and we're just going to right-click on that series, click on Format Data Series. Let's go up to our Marker Options and choose None, and let's go to our Line Color and choose No Line. And uh, as you can see, that line is now gone. It's just really going to hold the shape of the web for us. Uh, I can come in here and select the legend and hit my delete key. Um, also, I can go over and select any one of these outside ring labels um, that really show you the different spines. Once I've selected those, I can hit the delete key. Then these axes numbers, this is our axis for the radar chart. If you select it and hit your delete key, you'll notice the spines kind of go away. It doesn't look so webby to me anymore. So I'm going to undo that. What we want to do is right click on that axis, click on format axis. Then from the format of axis, we want to choose on the axis options, the very last choice here is axis labels. We want to choose none as our axis labels. And then we can click on close. All right, so there's our spider webs. So we can make a quick spider web is pretty cool. Um, now let's um, go ahead and uh, uh, ch show how we add the spider and the fly in there. Um, I've clicked away from my chart, and I'm going to go up to uh, formulas and click calculate now. You can also press F9. And once you do that, um, you'll see it's recalculated. And I'm going to keep hitting F9 or calculate now. And you see those two points, the spider and the fly, uh, keep moving all over the place. Um, so uh, what we have is uh, this triangle is the spider, and I can see that because the spider is on the second spine, uh, and it's 10 out from the center. And so I can click on that, that uh, data point right there. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go find some graphics. Up above my chart you here, you see uh, some different graphics. We've got a splat, we've got a fly, and we've got a spider. You can insert graphics into your Excel spreadsheet by going up to your Insert ribbon and then choosing Picture or Clip Art, Smart Shapes, whatever you like. I went to the pictures. I ended up finding a, a spider that I had on my uh, desktop. And what I want to do is click on that and then right click on it and do Copy um, or Control C. Then I want to click in my chart, find the spider, and you see when I click on either data point, it's going to tell me what data series it is. So if I click on the green one, that is the spider. You can see it's highlighted that. And uh, I can either right click on that data point, and uh, look, paste is not an option. So it's really not something I want to do. I probably could go up to home and do the uh, paste, and it will work there. Or I can also press Control V. That is the keyboard shortcut for pasting. I'm going to select my fly and copy that. I'm going to come in and choose my data point for the fly and do control V and paste the fly there. Now, um, you'll notice I don't have the splat. The splat's not uh, available right now because it is set to false, so it's a not applicable, which means there's no data point to choose that. Um, uh, 
so what you want to do is, and if you go out to my blog, excel-dashboardtemplates.com, you'll see a posting out there that's called How to Select an Unselectable Data Series. But we want to select the chart, go out to Layout. There is a current selection one here and uh, in the um, group area called uh, Current Selection. We're going to choose the series called Splat. And uh, I'm going to first select and copy the Splat with Control-C. Select the chart, go to my uh, Layout ribbon, choose the Splat series, and I'm just going to hit Control-V for Paste. It doesn't look like it's there, but um, if I go into my chart, or I'm sorry, into my spreadsheet and type in True in cell C5, there's the Splat. It did paste it, it's just that it's not applicable, but has replaced that markers. Uh, let me undo that. And let's go ahead and uh, we've actually done everything for our chart now. I'm going to go up to my formulas ribbon, click the calculate now or hit F9 and you'll see the spider and the fly move all around until they get very close and splat happens. Uh, so you'll see that they move around at random or places until they actually get very close. And there you have it. A lot of different techniques in using, uh, creating a spider type Halloween radar chart. Uh, we've done a lot of different things with not applicable. Uh, we have some custom markers in there. We've done a lot. So you can read about this entire post and follow the steps and download the test file at excel-templates.com. My name's Steve True. Please visit and sign up for our blog. Also sign up for our YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest video. Uh, sign up on our blog so you're sure to get the posts that do not have videos associated with those. Uh, so you can learn all about Excel charts, dashboards, templates, and everything about Excel. Thanks very much. And until our next time.